Before diving into the details of this video, I wanted to give you a quick heads up. We are giving two lucky participants the latest version of eDraw Max annual license for free. Hold on, there's more to it. 10 of our participants will receive the six month eDraw license and over 15 will be given a one month license as well. To participate in this lucky draw, viewers must follow some simple rules. First, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Next, comment below what you will use this diagram software for and how it will enhance your task productivity. Whether you're going to use it for enterprise tasks, study purposes, or something else, we would love to hear about it. Let's dive right into the video. Are you tired of spending hours crafting complex flowcharts in Word or PowerPoint? Do you find the process cumbersome and time consuming? Well, you're not alone. Many professionals and students struggle with the stressful task of creating flowcharts, only to end up frustrated and overwhelmed. In today's fast paced world where efficiency is key, it's essential to keep up with current trends and tools that can streamline your tasks. Imagine being able to produce intricate flowcharts in just a matter of minutes, freeing up your valuable time for more important important work. In today's video, I will walk you through some tips on how to create a flowchart in PowerPoint or Microsoft Word. But before I get the details of that, please spare a couple seconds to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on notifications because I will be uploading videos that would make your digital world exploration a lot easier. Without further ado, let's get started. Picture a world where you can easily make flowcharts that give your presentations, documents, or spreadsheets a polished and organized look. That's the dream, right? Well, that's where eDraw Max comes in. I'm gonna share three carefully chosen eDraw Max flowchart templates I will always run to. I want you to think of them as your go-to tools for creating diagrams that will take your content to the next level. Believe me, once you download and start using these templates, you'll be amazed at how much they improve your diagramming skills. Let's begin with the hiring process flowchart template. From the name, we all can guess what you would use the template for. This template is a secret weapon for any organization or business that wants to bring new talent on board. In simple words, it's an organizational chart. I understand that might still sound crazy, but let me break it down for you. The hiring process, Flowchart template is a carefully coordinated sequence that involves identifying available positions within your organization and properly announcing the available jobs to the public. Potential candidates come forward like the stars aligning and submit their resumes, each one having the potential to make a big impact. So after your HR team must have reviewed those summaries and must have sorted the wheat from the chaff using the flowchart template, then they move to the next stage, which is the interview stage. The interview session is without a doubt a crucial chapter in this hiring saga. That is where they make budget plans and if both parties are satisfied, they proceed to recruit prospective talent. One by one, this flowchart templates can be your companion along the hiring process and help you create an organizational chart. I like to think of this next template, which is the business process flowchart template, as a blueprint for efficiency in the corporate universe. Ever wondered how a business department initiates, organizes, and approves processes? This template spills the beans. It all starts with a customer hitting the order now button, initiating the grand performance. All right, let's start with product order received. Picture this as the beginning scene, where a customer steps in to make a purchase. The system then switches to detective mode, quickly checking the inventory to see if the ordered main product is available. If everything is in order, the process continues, smoothly moving on to releasing the product for delivery. But wait a minute, if the product is currently unavailable, it's not a big deal. Customer receives a friendly notification and the order is put on hold temporarily allowing them to cancel if they wish. Now, that's what we consider to be a very flexible and customer-friendly approach. If the customer doesn't cancel, we proceed to the order confirmation step, just like the applause that comes after an amazing show. It's a clear sign the order is all set. Now that all the paperwork is taken care of, it's finally time for the big finale, release. Product is designed to adapt to various situations, whether it's smoothly handling shipping or preparing for a special breakup. Finally, the show concludes with an invoice a customer's receipt for their recent experience. Here's the business process flowchart template in action, transforming a basic product into a smoothly coordinated event. Now, the next template is the program approval flowchart, which is a template that is a must have for those seeking the green light on their business projects. You can take it as your compass through the difficulties of approvals where the collaboration between shareholders and the company takes center stage. So how do you use this template to organize your program approval flowchart? It is pretty simple. Imagine this as a kind of dance between the shareholders and the company where each move brings the project 
closer to getting approved. At the beginning of the overture, this is an orchestra of minds that are participating in the review meeting phase. Here, the program and company documents are carefully examined. It's all about preparing the scene, making sure every little thing is ready for the main event. As the paperwork comes together, the group heads to the company's review meeting. It's a meeting where the company assesses the program's potential, making sure it fits with their vision. However, the performance wouldn't be fully finished without a final discussion session between the company and the shareholders. Holders. This is the big moment, the time for the truth to be revealed. If the discussions go well, then the chairman of the board takes center stage and approves the program documents and the project is officially approved. These three different flowcharts I have found really useful over the past few months. Trust me, they've really made my work a lot easier. All I do is just take a glance and I know what is next on my to-do list. But now let's address what really brought us here. While this sounds like magic, exporting those magnificent flowchart templates from eDrive Max and turning them into Word documents is really simple and easy. I will show you these simple steps I use to get the work done. Step one, make sure to launch eDraw Max and make sure you've got it installed on your device. It works for both Windows and Mac. But if you prefer the online stress, all you need to do is log into eDrawMax.com. So on any of these platforms, make sure to log in using your Wondershare ID or the convenience of Google, Facebook, or Twitter accounts. Then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the left side where you're gonna choose your flowchart template. Type flowchart in the search bar and voila, a treasure trove of flowchart templates await. Pick the one that speaks to your project. Actually, pick the one that screams to your project and says, I'm the one for you. Next, pick that template and from there, double click a shape to infuse it with your magic. Insert your text, add or remove shapes to suit your narrative, and this ends up being where the real storytelling happens. Each shape is a character and you're the director crafting the plot. Next, Style it up. Select elements like the artistic genius that you are by heading to the style tab on the right panel and unleashing your creativity. You can make those elements dance to your tune with your desired alterations. It's like giving your flowchart a makeover before its big debut. Then you can click on the theme tab and sprinkle some thematic magic. You can choose your favorite theme, make it bold and make it elegant. As you can see right here on the top, there are a multitude of different ways that you can change up this template to make it 100% your own. Then from there, what you're gonna do is you can go to the top left of your screen. You can click on the export icon at the top, feel the power and choose export word. And there you have it. Exporting the eDraw Max flowchart template to Word is so simple and you just did it like a pro. You can also use this method to create PowerPoint or Excel flowcharts as well and export them just as easy as the process I'm showing you now. As you can see right here, now it's outputted into a Word document. Now you know which templates I always use and how I conveniently convert them to Word. You should also know how to draw flowcharts in PowerPoint or Excel and without having to do much. So what I want you to do is to try any template of your choice and please share your story with me in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.